Okay, just um, you know, good to be going into playoffs. It was great having the the bye week uh, last week. So uh, I think also playing on Thursday night that last regular season game against Tennessee State really helped us. That gave us a few days off before we went into the bye week. So much needed. I mean, we were physically and mentally. You know, kind of tired after nine straight. So to get that time off and, and keep a game speed, I thought we had a really good week of practice last week with what we did and the format we used and, and pretty much got everybody healthy. So, I mean, it's uh, it's kind of a blessing to be a healthy football team going into the playoffs and got to stay that way through this week of practice. But we kind of, you know, got to work on two teams last week. Now we got to zero in on Kennesaw State. They had a big win, you know, on Saturday against Sanford. And, uh, you know, that's going to be a good second-round matchup. They won. 11 games in a row and you know uh you know really really playing at a high level right now so we got to work cut out for us you know in, in, in playing them they'll come over here ready to play in their blue collar team and uh you know fortunately we played georgia tech early in the year it runs a triple so it kind of gave us some familiarity there uh it'll be a little bit different uh so it's uh it's gonna be a good game on saturday looking for a good crowd and, and looking forward to getting this playoff run started how different how, how will they? Is their system different? Uh, a little more multiple uh, than what Georgia Tech is. Uh, Georgia Tech's pretty, uh, yeah, pretty basic, but uh, they they do a lot of. Bohannon came from there, but they do a little bit more than what Georgia Tech does. But very, very much, you know, very similar. Uh, what was your practice schedule last week? What, what days did you work and what days did you take off? Well, I mean, the, the days off after the Thursday game really, like I said, it helped us. And then we, we uh, went Monday through Wednesday and came back in on Saturday. So it, it set up really good and, uh, you know, feel good about where we are. Kind of got some rest physically and mentally. And, uh, you know, got, like I said, very, very good practices. Energy was really good. And I thought we got a lot accomplished uh, in our practices. Saran, you're you're a veteran. You've been here a while. You know what it's like to deal with that bye week. What did you think of last week's practices? Uh, last week's practices, you know, we were on um, what we did was came out, you know, treated that week like it was game week, like we always do, um, and prepare for this week's upcoming game and all that. Coach, just talk about the, uh, the advantages of having been here before and the experiences that you guys get to feed off of, and how does that help you guys? Well, I think it does help. You know, experience helps for sure. You know, and we, we've been here before and uh, won. We've been here before and lost. So, I mean, I, I think it's, uh, you know, the bye week don't have a whole lot to do with that. Who are you playing in the second round, quarterfinal, semifinal? They're, they're going to be great football teams. And the Kennesaw State's a good example of that. A very solid team. So, it goes back to the what we preach all the time, what we believe in is how we play. You know, so we've got to play at our highest level. And, and it'll be a game of, you know, who turns it over and who don't turn it over. And, you know, who can get the ball in the end zone when you get in the red zone. So I think kicking game will become a big part of this too. But I think the experience does help. Uh, they're a young program, and to get their first you know, playoff win uh, in their third year is pretty pretty neat for them. I mean, so they're coming here really excited on a high note. But, uh, again, it goes back to I think it's preparation. And I think the week of preparation kind of helps you, even though that you don't know who you're playing where we're able to work, uh, you know, Sanford and Kennesaw. And so it kind of prepared us for this week zoning in on Kennesaw. I know it's a brand new season, but does this team have an idea, a better idea, maybe how to treat a bye week? before a playoff game or something like that? that I think so. Our seniors have been around long enough that they know kind of how to handle the week. And, uh, you know, it goes back to practice. And I think it's one of the things we've learned from, uh, you know, years past is is when it, it's bad to be hurt. It's bad to be injured in this game. And uh, if you're a little hurt, you got to practice. I mean, because there's nothing like game speed reps. I mean, if you're not practicing, you're not able to go, it only hurts you and hurts the team. And uh, like I said, you got you got to be able to practice at a high level to be able to play at a high level. It goes back to those saying I always say you're going you're going to play like you practice if you don't practice you're not going to be very good so fortunately you yeah, know we we had the majority of our football team you know got to practice last week if it, even if it wasn't you know the good on good stuff they got to go through endos and scout work and got some reps in I think that's vitally important where as opposed to being shut down completely I mean you worry about players playing in this game because you play it at such a high level you know not practicing so uh, you know we're pretty healthy and it's fortunate that everybody got to practice could the three players, could you talk a little bit about what you might know about uh, Kennesaw State at this point? Maybe we could start with Saran and come down. Uh, Kennesaw State, um, 
pretty good team. Um, went on a good streak and came back and beat the team that beat them, the only loss that they had. Uh, but Kansas State, they're pretty much like Georgia Tech. Um, running the op triple option and um, got some pretty um, big receivers, you know, good um, running back, good quarterback. And um, how we prepare for them is just, you know, almost like we prepare for Georgia Tech. Um, I see uh, pretty much probably the hottest team right now in the country, I would say. I mean, 11 straight wins, that's pretty impressive. Um, I saw, I think they got the number one rushing offense in the country, so that's a challenge uh, I think we look forward to. And, um, and then they're a good team, looking forward to it. Uh, from what I've seen, it's a team who, you know, rushes to the ball. You know, uh, they got good players. I know, like, number six, he's long and lean, sort of like our guy we got. Um, and uh, they, they got a chip on the shoulder. They're a new team, been, I guess, had a program for three years, and, you know, they're playing for something. Jonathan, just how is their how they go about the option different than what you saw against Georgia Tech and and what are some of the keys there against this team? Uh, Georgia Tech. Uh, uh, I, I I really don't I really can't explain the difference because they are, they are almost similar, you know, in a way. They really are similar, so it's really not a big difference between them, but. Uh, but sometimes between the plays, they will spread sometimes. That's probably the only difference. They probably spread probably like three, four times out the game. But most of the time, they're really in, the, um, in that set right there in the triple option set, for real. Um, I say, uh, I mean, they try to do the same thing, try to get to the edge and make you play assignment football. You got to run to the ball. I mean, it's not a, a lot, if any. I mean, except what he said, they'll spread, they'll spread out a little bit. But you got to fly to the football, you got to run. At the end of the day, did pretty well against that against Georgia Tech. Just how good is it to have a game, have had a game like that this season? Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's good for the confidence. I mean, you're not going to it. Um, I, I say as blind, a lot of people don't get to go against it often. So, I think uh, it'll be a little different if we didn't play Georgia Tech early in the year. We're a little bit, a little bit more familiar with it, um, and we know what we got to do. It's kind of positive, negative to me. I mean, I think that. Uh, yeah, you know, one, it's good to have played it, uh, so, you, so you have seen it because it goes back to you can talk about it all day, but to you actually do it and experience it, you, you don't you don't have that experience. So, uh, you know, but then on the flip side of that, they get to see how you're going to defend it. So, you know, you got to throw a few new wrinkles in there to to, to make sure you're not the same. So, I mean, I, I think uh, the difference in, in the, those two, uh, I think it goes with the quarterback play. I mean, I think the quarterback, Kennesaw, makes really good decisions. You know, he may not be as explosive. He's a guy from Georgia Tech, but uh, he is a great decision maker. He, he very seldom misses a read. I mean, so he's spot on the way, way he reads it. And the team kind of rallies around him. They kind of follow him. And he, he throws it adequately as well and, and got some good receivers. So uh, they, they do have a lot of similarities. And uh, like I said, it's just they're going to make you play assignment football. Yeah, and you, you got to get the dive down, and they're going to try to build that crease. You got to get the dive down. You got to take dive quarterback pitch every time the ball snapped. And we'll say this I think they got a few more one hitters than what Georgia Tech does. I mean, I, I think Georgia Tech does what they do, and, and Kennesaw does too, but they're going to game plan and have three or four little wrinkles in there with different sets that they're going to try to show you as well that you, you got to be prepared for. A couple of you had mentioned assignment football as defensive guys. That may not be in your DNA. You're usually in attack mode. Uh, how how difficult is that to understand that and know that you got to trust to do your job that somebody else is going to do theirs? Uh, that's basically what the defense do day in day out all year long. Um, it's sign football, you know, get the call lined up and do our thing. But the thing is, um, with this game, you can't you can't miss an assignment because you miss one assignment, it's, it's probably going to be out the door. So with the defense, um, we really have to focus in on every play and do every assignment technique wise, and you know really focus in on what we got to do. Yeah, um, yeah I, don't, I mean I don't think it'd be that hard. I mean for us especially, I mean we got a, a great group of guys that come in and we communicate pretty well. So I wouldn't say uh, it'd be abnormal to us. Like I said, I mean I'm, I'm comfortable with the people around me, the guys behind me, in front of me. Mel, you were hurt last year, so this is your first playoff game. Is this, are you a little more excited, or does this mean a little more to you to be a part of this one? Uh, I mean, it's not no difference. I mean, I'm just ready to play. Glad, uh, you know, we prepared for this all week. And uh, the biggest thing about the playoffs is, uh, you know, being, you know, mentally able to handle it. You know, our bodies been banged up all year long, so it's all about, 
you know, who who wants it more. And that, that's what we train for during the summertime is for, you know, to get through that and through the aches and pains. So I think we're going to be ready. Tramel, you, you running backs take a lot of hits during the year. What was the the rest for you last week, not just after the Tennessee State game, but also Thanksgiving? Uh, it's huge. Um, I think rest period for anybody is huge. Um, you know, uh, we just got to make sure that we keep that edge that we had against tennis, uh, uh, Tennessee State. Uh, I feel like, you know, we had a short week that week, but I feel like we got in our groove offensively. So as long as we keep that, I think we'll be OK. For the, for the players, you had a great run last year. But when you get close the way that you were, um, I know you had goals for, throughout the season. But now that you're into this stage of the season, just talk about how hungry you are to take it a step further if you're if you're able to con you know play well. Uh, I've been here, you know, like you said, I'm a vet. I've been here, you know, a lot of times, and um, two times we failed. Um, but this year, my last year, and um, I don't want to fall short this year. And this year, you know, to all the players and seniors, you know, I think it, it this spot right here really means something because last year we kind of fell short in how we prepared, but this year we're preparing. For the best and for the for the more and for the great. So um, so I just think just how we preparing this year is gonna really take us far. Um, I mean it's pretty new to me. I think uh, just getting ready for it. Uh, I mean I was like I, I, mean, I was here last year, but I mean just actually being a part of a part of the actual game plan and things like that. Um, just trying to go out, just make sure uh, and earn our respect because last year we did go out early and and things like that. I mean we don't want that same feeling. I remember how it felt. I mean I don't like losing. At all, I mean, so I'm gonna take that with me all week in practice. Uh, for me, um, you know, I wasn't a part of it being hurt, but uh, I, like my motivation, I guess, is you know me sitting out and having to watch, and you know not be a part of it. Uh, you know, it's motivating to to get out there and, and make something happen this game. John, can you talk about Jonathan's evolution here and what he's meant to the defense this year? Oh, I think he's had a great year, you know, and see a guy come, you know, both, you know, Tremel and, and Hagler when, you, when you're not, you know, you know, Tremel was out last year and he get the experience it and, you know, it's such a blessing to see him get to play, you know, now. And then, you know, Hagler was playing and playing a lot of special teams, not playing as many snaps as he wanted to play, uh, you know, on, on defense. And like I said, we talked about before about his all season, you know, getting ready for the season has made him the player that he is today and, and uh, you know, the caliber of year that he's had. And I don't think he could have had much better of a year than what he's had. He's played tremendous for us. So it's good to see him doing those things, you know, on the field and all those, the fruits kind of that that labor, you know, kind of come to fruition and him playing well. So it's, it's uh, I know it's been good to watch that. Coach, this summer you had a press conference at SunTrust Park announcing that we're playing <coughs> – all there next year, and I remember in that press conference you said it's exciting because it will be a playoff type game. Did you expect for that to come this year? Well, I knew that it could. I mean, they they had had a good year last year, and uh, you know we're doing well, and I, I think that has has come quicker than what you would think. But uh, they uh, they've done a great job over there. Coach Moham and them have done a done a phenomenal job. His teams play a, a lot of ball, a lot of years before they ever get a FCS playoff win. You look at South Dakota. I don't know how long they've been playing football. It's a lot longer than three years. They got the first you know playoff win on on Saturday. So I mean, it's it's big for them to get not only get in the playoffs, but to to win a playoff game. Because playoff wins are hard to come by. You got to play your highest level. And you got to be hungry, and you got to be ready to go. So, you know, they're doing that, and I think this can grow into kind of a rivalry game for both of our fan bases and for our players on each side. And it's right down the road, so I, I see it becoming like kind of like a Chattanooga game. You know, I think it'll be a, a great game every time we play, and it'll be fun to watch. And, and like I said, good for both alumni and good both fan bases.